Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Ulberg, your podcast performance coach with another actionable tip so you can grow your podcast authority, generate leads, and convert with ease. Today's tip is pivot your podcast for big results. Check in time. time. How is your podcast performing? Is it getting you the results you were hoping for? Or is it stuck in the mud? Have you plateaued? Are you stalled in the starting blocks? Is it stealing time and not delivering leads or helping you convert with greater ease? Maybe you've even considered scrapping it all together. Now, hold on. There is another option. It's the podcast pivot. I talked about this in episodes 88 and 89. I'll put the link in the show notes, but Just in case you haven't been listening for five years or so, or maybe your podcast was at a different place back then, I thought I'd share a bit more about the podcast pivot and give you five ways to pivot your podcast. Simply put, a podcast pivot is when you take what you've got and make an adjustment. You might do this because you aren't getting results. Your business has changed, which means your podcast should also change. Or because you've learned more about your ideal customer and you know how you could serve them better with an updated approach to your show. A pivot could be a good way to improve your show, but sometimes a pivot isn't what's needed. Sometimes you need to burn the whole damn thing and start fresh. But We'll get to that a little bit later. So let's start by assuming that your show is worth saving and just needs a slight adjustment. I'm going to share those five ways for pivoting your podcast. But before I do, let me say that some of these may seem small, but we have seen them have a major impact on downloads and more importantly, leads and sales. So don't dismiss the power of the pivot but also don't enter into it lightly. These changes need to be intentional and be properly tested and measured too. Okay, so here we go with the five ways to pivot your podcast. Number one, niche your topic down. Here's how you do it. Take the topic of your podcast and find a sliver of it that people are interested in and focus on just that. It might feel like you are limiting yourself, but what you're actually doing is becoming the go-to person for that specific thing. Think of a knife blade. The thinner it is, the sharper it is, and the easier it cuts through. That's what you want to do, especially if you are in a crowded space. We've seen our clients succeed time after time with this type of pivot. For example, one podcast tune-up client went from the topic of photography to boudoir photography, and the results were a massive jump in revenue almost immediately. So number one, pivot by topic niche. Number two, niche your audience. This second option in the niching realm can be incredibly powerful, but we met a lot of podcasters who get a little nervous doing this. Here's the typical pushback. But I want my show to help everyone. Of course you do. But by being a generalist, you're generic. Let your ideal customer know that you are 100% for them and only them. Stop sleeping around. Commit to a niche audience. So what does that look like? Say your niche is women. You can niche down to moms, but that's a pretty big and well-served niche already. So let's narrow it down even more. You might focus on serving moms over 40, moms of twins or lesbian moms. Or if you're ready to go super niche, how about lesbian moms over 40 with twins? Yes. You want to try to tell me that those moms aren't going to listen to your podcast and share it with every other same-sex parent of twins they know? You better believe they are. Oh, and they're talking about it too. Just make sure that you are niching to an audience that better reflects your ideal customer. The third way to pivot your podcast is by shifting your audience. This is slightly different from niching your audience because instead of narrowing down your existing audience, You're shifting it, hopefully to a niched audience because niched is better. This might look like going from speaking to CEOs to HR managers or from swim coaches to parents of swimmers. Sometimes when you look at who is actually hiring you, you realize that the only thing that needs to change about your podcast is to pivot the perspective to a different listener. 
The fourth way to pivot your podcast is by changing your show format. Giving your podcast a polish might be as simple as pivoting to a format or show structure that is more appealing to your ideal listener. Maybe you started your show doing what everyone else was doing, interviewing other people with your podcast. That was great to get you going, but now you want to have a podcast that performs, aka sets you up as the go-to person for your ideal client, instead of just having a podcast. It might be time to update how you deliver your message and your content, or you may be going the other direction from having a solo podcast without guests to having an interview podcast. You may also be adjusting the length of the podcast. Maybe you'll discover your ideal listener doesn't have an hour to listen to your show, or you might be changing the frequency of publication. Maybe cut the time in half and double the number of episodes you put out in a week. You may also be adding or removing a co-host based on how you want your show to represent your business. This podcast pivot is often the result of a shift in your intentions with the podcast or <coughs> realizing that you should have an intention for your podcast, which brings us to a number five, intention, the fifth way to pivot your podcast. There are a lot of ideas why you started your podcast, but often it's because it seemed like a good idea. I can't tell you how many podcasters I've talked to that when pressed can't tell me what the intention of their podcast is. I'm talking hundreds of podcasters who couldn't tell me their why when I asked them. So don't feel bad if this is you, but also fix it. One of the ways you can pivot your podcast is to change the intention or set an intention. This might be subtle and the audience may not notice, but it's an excellent way to improve your podcast's performance. You might shift your intention so that your show is more listener centric, which is what I recommend as a bare minimum and have been preaching since the beginning of this show. Your intention might also be shifting from wanting to build an audience to wanting to build a list. Or you might be pivoting your business focus from consultant work to speaking engagements. So that shifts the intention and probably the audience. So if you've been podcasting for a while and looking for an improvement, then your show intention may very well need to pivot. The reality is that as your business grows and shifts, your podcast needs to be along for the ride. When your podcast is an authority building and or a marketing tool for your business, then you need to make sure it's doing the job. If it's not, then it's time for a pivot. You can do that by topic niche, audience niche, audience shift, show format, and intention. Keep in mind that a podcast pivot may result in a new name or a new tagline, new music, new artwork, and at the very least, a new description. There is a difference between tweaking your show and pivoting. When you pivot, your listeners should hear the difference. You want to your pivot to do the job of attracting your ideal customer and repelling the wrong customers. Who wants to deal with those pain in the ass clients anyway? You need to know who that ideal listener is, what they need from you as a podcaster, and ultimately what you want them to do once they listen and fall in love with you. Once you're clear on this, then you need to take a look at your existing podcast and ask the hard questions. Is your podcast serving your listener, your business, and you? If not, then it's time to pivot. And I hope that's just the tip you need. Here's the good news. You don't have to navigate this pivot alone. Our podcast tune-up is exactly what you need to review each aspect of the pivot and get your show more aligned with your business so that it can attract your ideal customers. These are people who want to get excited to buy from you. And you can start right now with our self-study tune-up program. That's DIY. Or with my help through the full program that includes one-on-one custom coaching. I'm including the link in the show notes. Just scroll down in your podcast player app and it'll be there. Oh, and if you want to talk it out, book a free coaching call. I'm really fun to talk to, and I love talking to podcasters. It floats my boat and fills my boots. 
book your free podcast coaching call by using the link in the show notes or at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Mulberg. See ya!